I give you a quick introduction into the installation of Oracle Database 18.3 on premises. So first of all, you have to make sure that you unzip your downloaded file into the destination home already. This is to change from the previous releases. And then you call the run installer. So this will open the Oracle Universal Installer. So in my case, I always say set up software only, because usually I apply a patch afterwards, then single instance installation, and of course, Enterprise Edition. Then double check that the Oracle base chosen here is the correct one. And as you see, the software is already deployed into the 18 subdirectory here. So this is my future home. There's no other choice for homes in the installation process. Then as I'm installing into a virtual box image, I have to change some uh, ownerships here for the groups. The installer runs pre-checks on the system. And in this pre-check process, it will recognize that the available amount of memory is not enough. So requirement would be eight gigabytes. I have six gigabytes, but I know this will work okay. So I ignore them safely. Have to confirm that I ignored it, all fine. And if this is done, I can kick off the installation. So now the change to previous releases is that I copied already or unzipped everything in my future Oracle home. So there's no need to copy now around gigabytes of files. The only thing is we need to configure and as you see here, link specific things. And at first we link in this case 18.1.0 and as we have deployed also the patches into a dot patch underscore storage subdirectory 18.3.0 is there as well and this will apply it in this process automatically in the background. So we basically install 18.1.0 and then we apply the correct patches to make it an 18.3.0. If you need more information on that, you'll find information on the upgrade blog about it. So as you can see, the linking is happening now in this case already for 18.3.0. And in a few seconds, the process is done. The installation is completed. So I didn't uh, speed this up. That is a real-time recording on a small laptop. So saving inventory and then we should see a window asking me to run the root sh script which we do here so i need to open an extra terminal login as root password is secret oracle then change to the oracle home user one app oracle product slash 18 and then execute root sh confirm in my case i don't need a trace file analyzer so i say no but it's actually a pretty useful tool and that's it so you see in less than two minutes i installed everything everything fine next step will be upgrading database to 18.3.0. So thanks for your attention and you find more information on the upgrade blog including the entire article. Have a great day and goodbye.